Creative Katie here. Welcome to my version of the Index Card a Day Challenge my and my Create Daily series. Today the prompt is botanical and the technique that I'm featuring is using napkins for instant backgrounds. So I have a stash of napkins and I am determined to use these up. So I'm going with Daisy Yellow's prompts and I'm looking through here there's one about music box I'm grabbing the music one and I'm grabbing this one maybe botanical so here's the quick easy way of getting the layers off if they're a little finicky put a little bit of tape on the corner and pull off now depending on your napkin you may have one layer or two layers to pull off and it's just that quick and easy and I save those bat those layers because I utilize them in other ways so they just get folded up and put in there now along with the botanical theme I wanted to go tropical so this was an absolutely perfect napkin to do and I am just going to basically turn this napkin into the background. I'm putting a layer of gel medium and I find when I'm working with napkins, I thin down my gel medium just a little bit. If you have liquid matte medium, that works well. And you have to remember the napkins are very fragile, especially when wet. So if I rub too hard, I am going to rip the napkin. Not the end of the world, it can be always fixed, but use a soft brush and go carefully and slowly. So I'm putting that on there and I'm loving how that just turned out. It's like I just bought some um, tropical leaf stencils from Silhouette. Now I want to put a toucan on here and I know this isn't a toucan but you can get a free printable. What I did is on a teacher's website, I got a pattern for a toucan, toucan that kids would do for their art and I shrunk it down to the size I wanted and I just traced it onto the napkin. And now I'm just using my angle brush and I'm just painting this the colors that I want. Now you can just go get a free, you know, Google for free printable parrot, free printable toucan. Um, yeah, I could have just glued that on and full disclosure this does not turn out exactly how I love it it's okay in fact I was even tempted which I never do to just toss this one aside and move on but I figured, you know what, I'm going to show the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm going to show my own insecurities when it comes to drawing. I would like to attempt drawing a toucan. The tropical theme right now is really, really in. You've got tropical prints in the stores and um, it's kind of showing up in different art and stuff. So that's what drove me. I want this black and you know I'm kind of looking at pictures of it on Pinterest to get color schemes or ideas and there you go I'm just kind of googling it you know and if you type in toucan free printable you can see the different ones they have the different color patterns and really anything goes right it it's your art. So if you want to make it whatever colors you can. So I'm going to gesso out these other parts because I want this to be mostly white and I just want a little bit more coverage. I don't want to see the print from the napkin under the background. And back to the napkin, because I knew I was going to be painting on this, I did put a coat of gel medium across the whole top of it. Typically I do, but I was very careful and maybe even added another one. You could have, I could have also added a layer of clear gesso before I did this, and that would just 
seal everything in and prepare to take any other mediums. So my Stabilo All pencil that I traced with is activating a little bit with the wet gesso here. And it's actually giving some shading there, so it works for me. So instead of cutting out or tracing the feet, I actually freehanded this. Brave of me, hey? And I'm just painting out where I think a, a twig would be for the toucan, so he's not just standing in midair, he is semi on something. How many of you are lack um, belief that you can draw. I just constantly question it. I second guess myself. I think I, I can do better than I, what I think I can, which is the theme that I picked for this. This is you can if you think you can. And that just flashes me back. I'm, I'm a teacher and, and when I taught grade one and, and kindergarten, I would do an art project with two cans with my students and on their feathers or on their beak, I would have them list all the things that they can. So it was an I can, two can. So this was a bit nostalgic for me as well. And I'm using the pit brush markers here just to color it in instead of getting out a multitude of colors of paint. And then I'm shading with the markers as well. Now these pit brush markers, they are India ink and they are permanent when they are dry. You can also take them and put them on your craft mat and stamp with them or color right onto your stamp to stamp with them and they're permanent ink. So it gives me the option of stamping with a lot of colors instead of having all those stamp pads. I'm using the fine line bottle here just to make the eyes. This is pretty tiny. I'm thinking the beak is a little too big or somehow I have it in front and it should be behind. I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but here and let it go. But I absolutely will be using the um, tropical botanicals in the background again on a fridge magnet or any kind of tropical thing that I want. It's such a quick, easy way of getting an absolutely lovely tropical background. I'm fine lining this just to sharpen the edges a little bit and make the toucan stand up from the background. What's your experience with the Index Card a Day Challenge? Are you successful? Did you enjoy the prompts? Did you go off prompt? If you've watched mine, you know pretty much I've done some of the prompts. A lot of them aren't speaking to me. And I've definitely not done them in order. Sometimes I, they sit there and I don't have anything. And then suddenly I do. And it just clicks with something that I'm seeing in a magazine or just, to, you know, what you bring to the prompt is what makes it to the page. If you haven't checked out the video where I have from prompt to art journal page, I talk about how to use prompts in my process of taking it from the prompt and what I do to kind of get my ideas. It'll give a different way of, of approaching it than maybe your way.
So this is also from my Believe Sentiment Pack, my latest. It's kind of my July sentiment pack that I'm doing in my quote journal. As I said, the theme is Believe. So that's where the quote, you can if you think you can. The power of the mind to believe or have faith in those things. So this actually sat for many weeks and then I thought, okay, you know, I need to do some shading and that actually improved it for me. It kind of softened the beak. It made it fit in a little bit more. So, you know, when a page isn't doing what you think it should be doing, feel free to give yourself permission to just set it aside and come back to it later because it's never as bad as you think later <laughs> sometimes you need time and distance from it so I'm still deciding which sentiment to, to go where But in the end, I go back with my, you can if you think you can. The you can, to can. Have you done anything with the tropical thing? If you do, be sure to tag me, whether it's in, my, in Facebook or on my Instagram. I'd love to see it. I will put a link to my sentiment pack videos if you're interested in purchasing the sentiments that you see me use in my quote journal or other sentiment packs I have these digital files for sale and then you can print them off on whatever you want and then use them in your creations using the fine line bottle here to just edge and outline this page so it was finished. So go through your napkins, see what you have, and start using them in your backgrounds to jump start your creative process. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, share this video and my channel with your creative friends. Bye for now.